calculate the limit of this function. This involves, uh, again, algebraic manipulation. So what we're going to do is simplify this. And usually when you simplify it, things work out, things cancel out, and you can then plug in the zero. Right now I can't plug in zero because I'd have zero over zero. Because one over one is one minus one is zero over, I plug in zero for x, I'd get zero. So you can't do that, which means let's simplify this. So this equals the limit as x goes to zero of, I'm going to multiply this by x plus one over, over x plus one. And I'm going to get one. This is where you have to be really careful and people make the mistake. This negative here needs to be distributed into the x plus one. And that's where people typically make the mistakes. And when I do that, I'll change color so you can see, I'm going to get plus, minus, minus. These cancel out. One and the negative one cancel out. And I get the limit as x goes to zero of negative x, negative x over x plus one. That's this up here all divided by x. And dividing by x is like dividing by x over 1, which means I can flip that and multiply it up here. And now these x's will cancel out. And I'll get, I'm still simplifying, the limit as x goes to 0 of negative 1, because that's a negative 1 times 1, which is negative 1, all over x plus 1. And now, I can plug in the zero, and I'll get negative one over one, which equals negative one. There's my answer.